Fortune is part of a series of performances that we call the Human Odyssey. Trying to understand the different aspects of human behavior. In the beginning we did a lot of collaboration in Europe and after a while we decided to collaborate with other continents, other places. We met Navdhara, India Dance Company and in the conversations that we've had we found a lot in common. So we decided to invite them on this journey with us. The whole collaboration embarks from this idea of stepping out of the Eurocentric perspective. We are so focused on our way of living, we are so convinced that history is written. We forget that we are a very small part of the world and that we don't do it necessarily better than anyone else. As an artist, to go somewhere and to collaborate with somebody, you have to go out of your own comfort zone and be open to other inputs and also to take some risks within that. We understand the manners of politeness is different, of hierarchy is different, uh, of a lot of different human aspects. Trying to actively step into other cultures and ask questions and stand in the middle of them and not just read about them and do a lot of dramaturgical research is a very different experience. Even up to about six or seven years ago, till Navdhara did its first tour. The concept of what India exported in terms of dance was mainly Indian classical and folk and Bollywood. And I always thought that was a shame because India, yes, we're very traditional, we have a rich culture of thousands of years, but we also have a very modern face. We've got three dancers from Navdhara here and there's five from Club Guy and Rani, so that's an interesting mix and a huge opportunity for the dancers from India because Guy and Rani, their style is very, very interestingly different. We went to India after we did a lot of research and we were very prepared to let our Indian colleagues know how not okay we found the lack of equality in so many different aspects of society. When you think of the word fortune in India, it's chaotic, but yet there's a divine order in that chaos. It's a complexity of absolutely nothing in terms of material and absolute abundance. You see a little kid, the hope in his eyes is unbelievable. And I don't see that sometimes even in the rich people in India. And that's an interesting way of looking at fortune. They managed to uh, get us off this track of actually a little bit of an orientalistic track. Slowly we learned to look at their city, Mumbai, through their eyes. It became a lot more about the fortune of what is there and not what is missing. A lot more often about the obvious things, fortune of life, for example, the fact that we got to go there, that we got to meet these uh, beautiful people. And it was interesting that they had the fortune of life. I had thought of the fortune of death. Every day in our lives, every day in our lives, we have to die to find new joy. So there is death even in every moment of our lives. To go somewhere and to collaborate with somebody, you have to go out of your own comfort zone and be open to other inputs and also to take some risks within that. I think in any collaboration you learn so much, not just about the other side, but you learn a lot about yourself. Because I'm getting another perspective and I'm getting a chance to, to submit, to absorb and understand and learn and grow. And it takes time in order to convince each other, to trust each other, to really come to the essence. The piece would be very much inspired by what we have seen there, what we smelled there, touched there, heard there, which here in the West, would be uh, called as chaos, but there it looks like a poetic way of living. We're actually coming together to create one piece. It means all of us have to actually figure out how to think like one. If you talk about life, it's not one story. If you look at life, there are many, many, many stories. One of the decisions was to weave a lot of stories, colors, uh, tastes, images to each other because this is life, this is the fortune of life and put together into some kind of a, a road movie performance slash diary of our encounter with these beautiful people. And maybe we should do that more as a society, try to understand someone else's perspective by just being in their life for a moment. Mm -hmm.